Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another Sell with Manuel vlog. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel, this is a, uh, most of my videos are real estate related with a little bit of uh, automotive here and there. I really love the, uh, or I really love the car scene here in San Diego. And, um, and so I try to sprinkle something, a little bit of cars every now and then, and uh, lifestyle, but most of it is day in the life vlogs with um with a few market updates as well so if this is your first time on the channel make sure to subscribe hit the like button on today's vlog i got invited to a local tv channel here to discuss real estate about me starting the team and uh, the predictions for 2022 uh, it's not a super long interview but hopefully you guys enjoy it again if this is your first time on the vlog make sure to hit the like subscribe button and uh, enjoy the interview here you go Manuel Sanchez joining us again at inside the mastermind welcome back thank you thanks for having me I love having you it's yeah. been a little bit it's been a while I think the last time that I was on the show it was um pre-covid yes okay that was and we were ago. talking about like the future of the market yeah and I was like it's gonna be amazing and of course it look at I mean like it was amazing ball in your back it pocket. was amazing but for like a like a month or two it was chaotic right yeah I mean that was uncertain times for yeah. us wow I'm glad we're where we are right now I know right yeah. it's up and up yeah absolutely so okay talking about that what do you predict for 2022 let's just keep rolling the conversation uh, well if I uh, if I can backtrack I guess um, I predicted the, the the one that we're currently in so I think for 2022 look uh, um, market is still gonna be strong um, this year in 2021 we had what was it like the the appreciation was like 12 percent yes. um, as an average here in san diego uh, it probably won't happen again in 2022 but uh, for sure it'll happen some somewhere around five or six percent appreciation um interest rates I'm, I'm i'm predicting they'll stay they'll stay low um they'll creep up a little bit but not as as, as much as we saw maybe like four or five years ago okay well that's good news yeah. Yeah. at least Okay, so that's the prediction. Yes, that's the prediction. I'm putting like. it out there. Yeah. I'm putting it on video. Just so, yeah. like you did last time <laughs> when you were right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. I don't think so. Look, it, there's there's inventory still relatively low, um, and buyers are out there, and it's all like kind of pent up demand from from COVID, and now everyone vaccinations are out, so it's like now a lot more people feel comfortable going out and buying a house. Yeah, I 100% agree. So yeah. speaking of buying houses, let's talk about. What's new in your life? I mean, you've now started a team. Yes, I recently started a team, Congrats. which I'm, I'm, thank you very much. I'm really, really excited. And uh, going into 2022, it's like, I'm just trying to build up the, the team, right? Right now it's, uh, uh, we, I just started recently and it's three of us right now on the team. Okay. Um, and it's something that ever since I got into real estate three and a half years ago, it's something that it was one of the goals of mine to, to really be able to collaborate with realtors that are, that are, you know, take this business very serious. And, um, and it's something that at the same time we can sell homes and have fun doing it. And I feel like I have a, a lot to offer when it comes to, to leadership. Um, even though I, mean, I know there's other realtors that have been, you know, in the business longer than I have and have sold way more than I have, but what I lack in time, I, I think I make up a thousand percent in, in work ethic. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, that's exciting news. Very exciting. So, yeah. do you plan to grow this team large? I've, like, what's your vision on this? Look, right now, it's it's kind of like a learning curve, like everything. I just started, and, and I've been I've been in a position right now where it's like now they're looking to me for for guidance and kind of what to do, and when they run into problems, like kind of ha how to manage those problems. But for now, I think it's it's I'm building up to five agents, and using that, those five agents really growing them, seeing how we work together, how we develop together, and then eventually grow it even bigger. Right. Yeah. So what's the criteria that you're looking for? There's so many agents getting their real estate licenses because yeah. this is where the money's at. Absolutely. So there's a, a dime a dozen out there. There's a what's ton of agents what's out there. Yeah, what's important to you and your team when you're hiring? One? I think more importantly than, than anything is really the personality um, and the drive that everyone has. Okay. Um, everyone has a different agenda when it comes to getting their real estate license. Some people just want to do their own deals. Some people just want to do family member deals, like, you know, working with their family. For me, I'm looking for agents that, that are hungry, that are ready to put in the work because it's not easy. No, I know a lot of, uh, of people and agents or a lot of people get into the business uh, thinking it's going to be like million dollar listing. Right. Quick money maker. And, yeah, exactly. And it's absolutely not. Yes, right. the commissions are awesome. Um, but to get to that point takes a lot, a lot of work. Blood, sweat yeah. and tears. Oh yeah, definitely. Right I lived through all that stuff. You did. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly it. 
and that's what sets you apart from, yeah you know a lot of people that try it yeah and you know when i started my real estate career it was really tough i had no guidance and um i wish someone told me to to join a team right off the bat um within six months i had quit real estate so i quit real estate and then um i got back eventually i got back into it and i joined a great team here in san diego and they really showed me around really showed me what to do um, how to how to uh, be able to take care of clients? How to um, be able to to manage clients' different uh, uh, expectations and different goals when it comes to real estate? Because you have support, you've got a mentor Absolutely. system, you've yeah. got support, yeah. you've got somebody you can lean on. Yeah, which is wonderful to have. A team is always important. It's really important heading into twenty twenty two. I think it's even more important to just have a team to to be able to to manage everyone that's right now looking for homes. And, and for me, it was really important to, to really um, be, be there for them. I, I run into so many agents sometimes where it's like they have no direction. They don't know what to do. They don't know who um, their, their ideal client would be. Um, and when they do come across them, they're like, okay, what now? And, you know, without guidance, um, it's really hard to be successful in this in this industry, it this is. business. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming. Absolutely. Thanks I, for having me. I love it. I love hearing your prediction, and I look forward to you coming back so we can talk about this prediction in 2022. Awesome. You were yes. right this year, so. I was. Yeah, I was right pre-COVID. Hopefully, I'm right for the next year, and um, uh, you know, it's going to be a fun, fun uh, 2022. That's well, for sure. Enjoy your ride. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Anytime. Thanks yeah. for coming out. Yeah.